What was the key to making this anachronism work and that you have this really contemporary pop sound against this 1800s backdrop? I think that when Michael first pitched the film to us, Michael the director, it was always his vision to make it really bold and colorful and sort of out of the gate. He was like, this is a story that's inspired by P.T. Barnum. Um, it's not a biopic. It's not, you know, it's straight his life. And also, like, think of P.T. Barnum as Steve Jobs, as Jay-Z, mm -hmm. as somebody, as Kanye, as like these people <laughs> who are innovators and MCs, that kind of vibe. Right, so, these larger than yeah, life. Yeah, larger than yeah. life figures. And like, you know, Michael always talked about it as like, is this a straight uh, adaptation of like, his life, whatever? It's like, no, this is the movie that P.T. Barnum would have made about himself. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's and like inspired Speaking of working way. with Michael, how much did his visuals for the film impact what you guys were oh. coloring with his, the music? His, I think that's visuals. part of what helps make 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 it work. It, like, we knew we were writing to these, like, very bold colors and mm -hmm. and, and, and daring kind of visuals. And, yeah, it was, his, his visuals were very sweeping and epic. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? So you got Super a, cinematic. You got, yeah, you got a sense of that you can write a really big, joyful song, you know, with a lot of color, and it, it's vivid, and and and, uh, and it, it will match, you know, what you're seeing. The choir of, like, crazy people in outlandish costumes, like, you know what I mean, parading uh, through the circus tent. 